This is the iPhone 12 Pro. And this is the iPhone 12 Pro's bigger brother, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The only thing separating these two phones apart from their display size and battery life is the camera system, particularly the wide and telephoto lens. Apple says that on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, the sensor on the wide lens is 47% larger than that of the iPhone 12 Pro. And instead of using OIS for image stabilization, the iPhone 12 Pro Max uses what Apple calls sensor shift, where the image sensor moves instead of the lens to compensate for camera movements. And as for the telephoto lens, the iPhone 12 Pro Max has a longer focal length at 65mm, which gives it a 0.5 times extra optical zoom over the iPhone 12 Pro. So, will the iPhone 12 Pro Max perform better at night with its bigger sensor? Does sensor shift makes it better at image stabilization? And does the longer focal length produce better portrait shots? We went to find out. Typically, when you increase the size of an image sensor, it means you will have to move the camera closer to the subject to get that shot. And as a result, you will produce a shallower depth of field. This is otherwise known as the bokeh effect that gives images that blurry background. And in our macro photography comparison, you will notice that the iPhone 12 Pro Max produces a better quality of bokeh when compared to the regular iPhone 12 Pro. Now also, in this example, the iPhone 12 Pro Max produces the image that has a better color contrast. Just look at how purple the flowers are. In our next few examples, you will be reaffirmed that if you prefer to take macro photos with dreamy and natural looking background blur with your iPhone, we think the iPhone 12 Pro Max is the only way to go. But do share with us what you think in the comment section below. Taking good photos at night with an iPhone used to be impossible. But with last year's introduction of night mode, this is no longer a problem. And this year with the iPhone 12 Pro, Apple has taken the challenge up a notch. And now we can take videos in low light conditions. This video was taken with an iPhone 11 Pro during our camera comparison of the iPhone 12 Pro with the Samsung Note 20 Ultra. If you want to check out that video, please click on the link above. Now, as you can see, the iPhone 12 Pro was the only camera there that could see the Ferrari right in front of it. Apple has made huge improvements for low light in video, but the question here is, does the 47% increase in sensor size in the iPhone 12 Pro Max gives it better low light performance? So to test this out, we shot a bunch of nighttime photos and videos. We even shot some time lapses at night. And we even got into some astro time lapse. But having compared those images side by side, we couldn't tell if the iPhone 12 Pro Max has any edge over the regular iPhone 12 Pro. The only thing that we noticed that was different was when taking photos with night mode. The exposure time on the 12 Pro Max is usually shorter, where the regular iPhone 12 Pro will generally take an extra second or two. This means that if you are shooting handheld, you will have to hold the camera still for longer on the regular 12 Pro. But in terms of photos and video qualities during low light conditions, both cameras produce great looking images that you can ask from an iPhone. And they both also suffer from lens flare. So we think this one is a draw. Now sensor shift is a new technology. Cameras like the Panasonic GH5 have had it for years. But Apple says when fitted on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, it is able to make up to 5,000 micro adjustments per second. The iPhone 12 Pro with only OIS can only manage up to 1,000 micro adjustments per second. And in our video stabilization tests, we think both of these cameras perform really well. These two footages were shot in HDR Dolby Vision downgraded to standard definition and both were shot in 4K at 60 frames. And they both look incredibly smooth and stable even though it was shot handheld and with me running at full tilt. In this comparison, we think it's another draw and you'll never need to reach for your smartphone gimbal ever again. Now let's do a quick recap. Does the bigger sensor on the iPhone 12 Pro Max gives it better bokeh? Yes. Does the bigger sensor on the iPhone 12 Pro Max make it better at low light? Not really. 
Does the sensor shift on the iPhone 12 Pro Max make it better at stabilization? No. So all that's left is to take a look at that 65mm telephoto lens on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now on the regular iPhone 12 Pro, the telephoto lens is only 52mm, which means the 12 Pro Max gives you an extra 0.5 times optical zoom. And it is great when you need to shoot something further away. But as for portrait shots, that 65mm lens does make your face look a bit more natural and proportional when compared to the 52mm lens. But unless you're really looking for it, the differences are minimal. And so are the differences between the camera features on these two fantastic phones. If you typically go for the top spec iPhone each year, but this year you are somehow lured by the charm of the smaller iPhone 12 Pro, you can rest assured that you will not be missing out on features. In fact, having the 2x optical zoom on the iPhone 12 Pro means you don't have to back up as much to take a portrait shot, which will come in handy when you're in a tight spot. So, what are the differences between these two phones? The iPhone 12 Pro retails at $999 while the 12 Pro Max retails at $1099. The only differences between these two phones, apart from the 100 bucks, are the screen size and the additional 3 hours of video playback due to having a larger battery. We hope this video helps you with your purchasing decision as this year's iPhone lineup can be a bit confusing. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and do consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.